It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. And thank you so much for joining us again. Our guest is Miguel Luna. Miguel is a water community advocate for the Planning and Conservation League. He is here as a representative for the No on 18 campaign. It's a proposition on the November ballot. That uh, proposition would provide a $11.1 billion water bond. That's correct. Why are you opposed? Well, I think that the water bond sets up to do some good things in some areas, but really bad things in other areas. Uh, one of those things is that it allocates uh, large amounts of money, over $3 billion for the building of more dams, which of course disrupts uh, the functions of rivers and it really doesn't create any more water in a sustainable way. What's interesting about this proposition is rarely do you see Sacramento work in a bipartisan fashion. Yet with the, this proposition, you have Fran Pavley, a liberal Democrat, siding with, for example, I think, you know, Bob Huff, a conservative Republican, to get this proposition on the ballot. So it was, it took a lot of work to do this. So why is it that, you know, your group is opposed? Because, you know, it's not often that you can get the two sides together. Well, I think that we also have to see the bipartisan on our end, that we are also collaborating with uh, the Republicans and the Democrats mm -hmm. are together on opposing this bond. Uh, and, and they see it, they see it for what it is, that it's uh, large amounts of money going to large uh, agricultural uh, uh, corporate interest and uh, very little for, uh, I always call out that this bond looks, um, when talking about farmers, it looks to uh, better the pockets and line the, co the pockets of the farmers of the farm owners not necessarily do anything for the farmers. But I think you would agree, and we've spoken before, that we do have a water crisis in this state. Uh, we're in the third year of a drought. Maybe it's ended, it's hard to know. Um, and something needs to be done, especially Southern California's needs for water. So if not Prop 18, what? Well, I think we need to look at this in a very, uh, um, in, a, in, a, in a good sense, in, uh, in ways that, for example, there's transparency in the process. Uh, that allows for a long, sustainable way of looking at our water. We've been, um, you know, this, the, the, the word drought, it kind of doesn't fit. We've had a large amounts of water uh, exceeding in the last 30 years. So what we're seeing now is the normal, and that's what we need to prepare for. We cannot prepare for droughts. We need to prepare for growing populations, and we need to do it in a sustainable way. What's interesting is the governor of our state, Arnold Schwarzenegger, had been a big proponent of Prop 18 when it was put on the ballot by the legislature in 2009, I think. Mm -hmm. It took a while to get onto the ballot. He has now come out, I guess you could say, against the initiative. What he'd like to do is delay it because he believes while it's important and needed, uh, it's just not time. He doesn't see the voters being as generous as they've been in the past. What do you make of that? <laughs> well, I think he's come to the reality that he understands that this is the wrong bond at the wrong time. What is it the wrong bond and the wrong time or just the wrong time? Both. 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 Absolutely both. And what we're asking voters is to repeal this and not delay it. We're asking people to uh, keep it on the ballot. It's going to take two-thirds to uh, bring it off the ballot. We want it to stay on the ballot and we want to uh, take care of it once and for all so we can start again and do something reasonable. But at the same time, we hear that this will cause too much indebtedness. Yeah. Uh, you have said that. But doesn't the bond pay for itself? It doesn't. This comes out of, uh, uh, it's not, it's, uh, comes out of the, right off the top of the general fund, which means uh, uh, compound it, it'll compound the already existing debt that we have on an annual basis in the budget of California, and it'll add almost up to a billion dollars extra that takes away from social services, services that takes away from uh, uh, services that are needed for the community, for schools. And so it really irresponsibly pits uh, the environment against, uh, you know, social services, which is, it's, it's not the way to go. Miguel Luna, thank you so much for joining us. He is a spokesperson for the No on Proposition 18 campaign. The proposition will be on the ballot on November 2nd, 2010. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Local Edition. Back to HLN. First, there was C-SPAN. Today, there's a California channel. I'm John Hancock, and I'm inviting you to stay informed by tuning to the California channel on Charter's Channel 177. The California Channel is a people's television funded entirely by California's cable television industry. So tune in daily for gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of California's legislative debates, press conferences, and more. The California Channel, educating a new generation of civic leaders and voting citizens.